Welcome to our Bible Quiz channel. Today, we challenge you with 25 difficult questions from the Old Testament. This quiz covers a wide range of topics, from lesser-known events and figures to complex laws and prophecies. You'll encounter questions that test your in-depth knowledge of the Old Testament, including the stories of prophets, kings, and God's covenant with His people. Each question is designed to push the limits of your biblical knowledge and understanding. Before we begin, please subscribe and like this video. Your support helps us continue spreading the message of the Bible and bringing you more engaging content. Are you ready to take on these challenging Old Testament questions? Let's get started. Question 1. Why did the sons of Israel require a trowel along with other tools when they were outside the city? A. Use it for hygienic reasons. B. Use it as a weapon. C. Work the soil. D. Dig wells. You get 10 seconds. Correct answer. A. Use it for hygienic reasons. Explaining the Bible. And you shall have a trowel with your tools. And when you sit down outside, you shall dig a hole with it and turn back and cover up your excrement. Deuteronomy chapter 23 verse 13. Question 2. How many visitors met with Abraham at the Oaks of Mamre before they left toward Sodom? A. 2. B5, C4, D3. You get 10 seconds. Correct. Answer. D3. Explaining the Bible. He lifted up his eyes and looked, and behold, three men were standing in front of him. When he saw them, he ran from the tent door to meet them and bowed himself to the earth. Genesis chapter 18, verse 2. Question 3. Who was David's first wife? A. Abigail. B. Esther. C. Bathsheba. D. Michal. You get 10 seconds. Correct answer. D. Michal. Explaining the Bible. Now Saul's daughter Michal loved David, and they told Saul and the thing pleased him. Saul thought, let me give her to him, that she may be a snare for him, and that the hand of the Philistines may be against him. Therefore Saul said to David a second time, you shall now be my son-in-law. 1 Samuel chapter 18 verse 20 to 21. Question 4. Whose wife said that his husband is sick when others wanted to kill him? A. David. B. Jehoshaphat. C. Samson. D. Solomon. You get 10 seconds. Correct answer. A. David, explaining the Bible, and when Saul sent messengers to take David, she said, He is sick. 1 Samuel chapter 19, verse 14. Question 5. What did Joseph's entire household have to say when Pharaoh asked them about their occupation? A. Keepers of livestock. B. Merchants. C. Sailors. D. Carpenters. You get 10 seconds. Correct answer. A. Keepers of Livestock. Explaining the Bible. When Pharaoh calls you and says, What is your occupation? You shall say, Your servants have been keepers of livestock from our youth even until now, 
both we and our fathers, in order that you may dwell in the land of Goshen, for every shepherd is an abomination to the Egyptians. Genesis chapter 46, verse 33 to 34. Question 6. Whose riddle could the people only solve by cheating? A. Jeremiah. B. Abraham. C. Samson. D. Gideon. You get 10 seconds. Correct answer. C. Samson. Explaining the Bible. And the men of the city said to him on the seventh day before the sun went down, What is sweeter than honey? What is stronger than a lion? And he said to them, If you had not plowed with my heifer, you would not have found out my riddle. Judges chapter 14, verse 18. Question 7. Who asked Pharaoh's daughter to call a nurse to breastfeed the infant Moses? A. Moses' sister. B. Moses' brother. C. Moses' father. D. Moses' mother. You get 10 seconds. Correct answer. A. Moses' sister. Explaining the Bible. Then his sister said to Pharaoh's daughter, Shall I go and call you a nurse from the Hebrew women to nurse the child for you? Exodus chapter 2 verse 7. Question 8. Who heard bad news, then fell from his chair and died? A. Jephthah. B. Miriam. C. Saul. D. Eli. You get 10 seconds. Correct answer, D. Eli. Explaining the Bible, as soon as he mentioned the Ark of God, Eli fell over backward from his seat by the side of the gate, and his neck was broken, and he died. For the man was old and heavy. He had judged Israel forty years. 1 Samuel chapter 4, verse 18. Question 9. Who was the only one to find grace when the Nephilim were on the earth? A. Elisha. B. Moses. C. Noah. D. Abraham. You get 10 seconds. Correct answer. C. Noah. Explaining the Bible. The Nephilim were on the earth in those days, and also afterward, when the sons of God came into the daughters of man and they bore children to them. These were the mighty men who were of old, the men of renown. But Noah found favor in the eyes of the Lord. Genesis chapter 6, verse 4 to 8. Question 10. Why did the midwives not obey the new Pharaoh's decree to kill newborn boys? A. The king didn't reward them enough. B. Moses told them not to. C. They feared the Lord. D. The Israelites threatened them. You get 10 seconds. Correct answer. C. They feared the Lord. Explaining the Bible. But the midwives feared God and did not do as the king of Egypt commanded them, but let the male children live. Exodus chapter 1 verse 17. Question 11. Who, just like his father, referred to his wife as his younger sister? A. David. B. Simeon. C. Isaac. D. Jacob. You get 10 seconds. Correct answer. C. Isaac. Explaining the Bible. So Isaac settled in Gerar. When the men of the place asked him about his wife, he said, She is my sister. For he feared to say, 
my wife, thinking, lest the men of the place should kill me because of Rebekah, because she was attractive in appearance. Genesis chapter 26, verse 6 to 7. Question 12. Who slept on an iron bedstead which was over 13 feet long? A. Goliath. B. Saul. C. David. D. O.G. You get 10 seconds. Correct answer. D. Ogi. Explaining the Bible. For only Og, the king of Bashan, was left of the remnant of the Rephaim. Behold, his bed was a bed of iron. Is it not in Rabbah of the Ammonites? Nine cubits was its length, and four cubits its breadth, according to the common cubit. Deuteronomy chapter 3, verse 11. Question 13. What was the previous name of Bethel? where Jacob made a vow to the Lord. A. Bethzur. B. Luz. C. Beth Horon. D. Bethlehem. You get 10 seconds. Correct answer. B. Luz. Explaining the Bible. He called the name of that place Bethel, but the name of the city was Luz at the first. Genesis chapter 28, verse 19. Question 14. Which prophet had to pick up two sticks and put them together? A. Isaiah. B. Hosea. C. Ezekiel. D. Jeremiah. You get 10 seconds. Correct answer, C. Ezekiel. Explaining the Bible, Son of man, take a stick and write on it, for Judah and the people of Israel associated with him. Then take another stick and write on it, for Joseph, the stick of Ephraim, and all the house of Israel associated with him. And join them one to another into one stick, that they may become one in your hand. Ezekiel 37, verse 16 to 17. Question 15. Who was a hairy hunter? A. Esau. B. Uzziah. C. Manasseh. D. Saul. You get 10 seconds. Correct answer. A. Esau. Explaining the Bible. The first came out red, all his body like a hairy cloak, so they called his name Esau. Afterward, his brother came out with his hand holding Esau's heel, so his name was called Jacob. Isaac was 60 years old when she bore them. When the boys grew up, Esau was a skillful hunter, a man of the field, while Jacob was a quiet man dwelling in tents. Genesis chapter 25, verse 25 to 27. Question 16. Who told his wife the source of his great strength? A. Shimei. B. Saul. C. Solomon. D. Samson. You get 10 seconds. Correct answer. D. Samson. Explaining the Bible. And he told her all his heart and said to her, A razor has never come upon my head, for I have been a Nazi right to God from my mother's womb. If my head is shaved, then my strength will leave me, and I shall become weak and be like any other man. Judges chapter 16, verse 17. Question 17. God said people would eat so much of this food that it would come out of their nostrils. Which food is it? A lamb b vegetables c quail d manna you get 10 seconds
Correct answer, C, quail. Explaining the Bible, and the people rose all that day and all night and all the next day and gathered the quail. Those who gathered least gathered 10 homers, and they spread them out for themselves all around the camp. Numbers chapter 11, verse 32. Question 18. How many children did Hagar bear for Abraham? A. 3. B. 2. C. 4. D. 1. You get 10 seconds. Correct answer, D, 1, explaining the Bible. And Hagar bore Abram a son, and Abram called the name of his son, whom Hagar bore, Ishmael. Genesis chapter 16, verse 15. Question 19, Shadrach, Meshach, and A, Elijah, B, Haggai, C, Abednego, D, Moses. You get 10 seconds. Correct answer, C, Abednego, explaining the Bible. And the chief of the eunuchs gave them names. Daniel, he called Belteshazzar. Hananiah, he called Shadrach. Mishael, he called Meshach. And Azariah, he called Abednego. Daniel chapter 1, verse 7. Question 20. What did Moses do with the golden calf which the people of Israel worshipped? A. He worshipped it. B. He ground it up and made the people drink it with water. C. He made it into a pillar. D. He buried it. You get 10 seconds. Correct answer. B. He ground it up and made the people drink it with water. Explaining the Bible, he took the calf that they had made and burned it with fire and ground it to powder and scattered it on the water and made the people of Israel drink it. Exodus chapter 32 verse 20. Question 21. How many years was Aaron older than Moses? A. 7. B. 19. C. 15. D. 3. You get 10 seconds. Correct answer, D, 3, explaining the Bible. Now Moses was 80 years old and Aaron 83 years old when they spoke to Pharaoh. Exodus chapter 7, verse 7. Question 22, what did the people plan on threatening Jeremiah with? A, a stick. B, their hands. C, their words. D, a whip. You get 10 seconds. Correct answer, see their words. Explaining the Bible, then they said, Come, let us make plots against Jeremiah, for the law shall not perish from the priest, nor counsel from the wise, nor the word from the prophet. Come, let us strike him with the tongue, and let us not pay attention to any of his words. Jeremiah chapter 18, verse 18. Question 23. What name did the sons of Israel give the bronze serpent that Moses made in the wilderness? A. Tefnut. B. Mehit. C. Nehushtan. D. Dagon. You get 10 seconds. Correct answer. C. Nehushtan, explaining the Bible. He removed the high places and broke the pillars and cut down the Asherah, and he broke in pieces the bronze serpent that Moses had made, 
For until those days the people of Israel had made offerings to it. It was called Nehushtan. 2 Kings chapter 18, verse 4. Question 24. Why didn't Judah allow Tamar to marry his youngest son? A. She didn't possess enough wealth. B. She was a prostitute. C. Judah was afraid that his son would die. D. His son didn't want to marry her. You get 10 seconds. Correct answer, C. Judah was afraid that his son would die. Explaining the Bible, Then Judah said to Tamar, his daughter-in-law, Remain a widow in your father's house, till Shelah my son grows up, for he feared that he would die, like his brothers. So Tamar went and remained in her father's house. Genesis chapter 38, verse 11. Question 25. When was Joseph's dream fulfilled, that his brothers would bow down before him? A. When his brothers came to Egypt for grain. B. When he was 20 years old. C. The dream was never fulfilled. D. Three days after the dream, you get 10 seconds. Correct answer, A. When his brothers came to Egypt for grain. Explaining the Bible, now Joseph was governor over the land. He was the one who sold to all the people of the land. And Joseph's brothers came and bowed themselves before him with their faces to the ground. Genesis chapter 42, verse 6. 